Hi fellow DIYers! Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new! In this video, I'm going to show you how to make these name key wristlets. It's a combination of key fob wristlet and name keychain. If you've watched my name keychain tutorial, it's very similar to this. I just added the key wristlet. I'll put the link of that tutorial in my description box. So let's get started! Open your Design Space app, click text, and then type in the name. And then I'm going to change the font to Amarillo. I'll put the font link in the description box below. And then I'm going to click Weld. And then select the text again. And then click Offset. And then I'll leave it to 0.25. And then click Apply. Or select just the Offset or this one on the Layers panel. And then click Contour. And then click this to make it a solid offset. And then we can close it. Now we're done with the name. We can now make the wristlet. So click Shapes. Click square, then click the lock icon, and then I'm going to change the height to 1 inch, and then the width to 1.5. Now, the reason why I have the height to 1 inch is because the size of the key fob hardware that I'm going to use is 1 inch. So check the size of your key fob hardware and then adjust the size of the height accordingly. And then I'm just going to drag it beside the name, and then right click, and then send to back, and then select the name and the offset, and make sure that these two are highlighted on the layers panel and then adjust the size. You can adjust it according to your preference. I just made sure that the width is not more than 5 inches. This way, the names can be seen just on one side of the wristlet. Now, I'm just trying to merge this offset with this piece. Now, I'm happy with that. While the piece is still selected, click Duplicate. And then click this lock icon. And then I'm going to change the width to about 7 inches. And then right click this long piece and then send to back. And again, I'm going to merge it with the offset and then select all. And we need to adjust it until the total of the width is 11 inches. And I'm just moving this piece again and I'm going to check if it's 11 inches. So select all. And as we can see, it's slightly more than 11 inches. So I'm going to click and adjust this piece again and select all. And as we can see, it's now 11 inches. And while everything is selected, click align. And then click center vertically. Now I'm just going to move these to hide the edge that is showing. And then click the name. And then I'll change the color to red because I'm going to use a red iron on vinyl. Select these and then click weld. And I'm just going to change the color. And then right click and then send to back. Now I can go ahead and click make it. And then click on matte and then continue. So I'm going to apply a Glitter HDV on the back of my fold leather before I send them to cut. And for my second mat, the material is going to be Everyday Iron-On. So I'm going to go ahead and click Continue. Now, since I'm going to apply Glitter Iron-On to the fold leather, I'll need a setting that can cut through those two materials together. I'm going to use a light chipboard setting. So I'm going to click Browse All Materials. And then I'm just going to type in Chip and then Enter. And then I'm going to click Light Chipboard. And then click Done. And I always adjust the pressure to more. Now for the second mat, we need to change the material setting from Light Chipboard to Everyday Iron-On. Now I want to make sure that mirror is turned on, so I'm going to click Edit. And I forgot to turn it on, so I'm going to turn it on right now. And then click Done. And I always adjust the pressure to more. So this is the full letter tote bag that I got from Dollar Tree. I love using this full leather tote bag for my projects. If you've seen my previous tutorial videos, I've made two different style of name keychains, no sew purse, luggage tag, bows, a chapstick holder, card coin holders, handbag, and cable holders. I put the links of all tutorials that I mentioned in the description box below. And then cut your glitter iron on a little bigger than this piece.
I always go to Cricut Heat Guide website to know what temperature to use on my Cricut Heat Press. The link is in the description box below. So I'm going to use Cricut Easy Press 2, so I'm going to click that. And for my heat transfer material, I'm going to click Glitter Iron-On. And for my base material, I'm going to click Faux Leather. And I'm going to use Cricut Pressing Mat, so I'm going to click that and then click Apply. And I'm just going to change the unit to Celsius. Now, it says here to preheat the base material for 5 seconds and then press the iron on to the base material with light pressure at 130 degrees Celsius for 20 seconds and then slowly remove the liner when it's cool to touch. I'm just using this bottle of sanitizer to help it cool down faster. For the name, I'm going to click Mini Press because I'm going to use that. And then for my heat transfer material, I'm going to click Everyday Iron On or Light or Metallic. And then for my base material, I'm going to click Faux Leather and then click Apply. Now it says here to preheat the base material for 5 seconds and then press the iron on to the base material using low setting with light pressure and constant movement for 30 seconds and then slowly remove the liner when it's cool to touch. Now grab your tool and your key fob hardware. Now place the key fob hardware right inside of the pliers and make sure that it's centered inside of the pliers. And then I'll grab my faux leather folded in half, making sure that it's lined up. And then I'll set it inside of the pliers and then I'll press the pliers down. I got this key fob hardware off of Amazon. I put the link in the description box below. And there you have it! If you like this video, please hit the like button. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. All feedback is welcome and any feedback is good feedback. Please subscribe to my channel and check out my other tutorials. See you on the next episode of DIY by Sess. Thanks for watching!